Good morning everyone from Africa. It is Saturday here and it is our last weekend at the volunteer centre here in... Where are we in Africa? We're in a area called Gauteng, I think. What? How do you know that? Because I do. I oh. think that's right. Oh my gosh. A donkey. Hold yeah. up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, are you friendly? <laughs> He's not letting us go past. I wasn't sure if you were friendly or not. Hi. Are you? Oh, you are. Hi. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> um, this morning, <laughs> there's a donkey following us. This morning, we are going on an elephant walk. The elephants here, there are three. One is called Three, one is called Marty, and one is called Hannah. Three is the mum, Hannah is the daughter, and Marty is the adopted daughter. And every day, we take them out on walks all day, and they're usually only in their um, pen at night. But yeah, we're going to go down now and take them out. Hey guys, how you doing today? Exciting news. This is actually our 300th vlog. What? So we've been doing it for 300 days, which means it's been 300 days since we've left home. Whoa. So this is kind of exciting. I think it's kind of a cool way to celebrate that we're going out on an elephant walk. If you guys enjoyed the lion walk, which we don't know if you did yet because these videos are currently not going up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're going to do the elephant walk and then after that we're going to do some horse riding after breakfast. So we've got a lot of fun stuff planned for you guys today. Breeze from the heat waves stole my emotions. I left my doubts when I was swept by the ocean. And every pulse from the tide was a finish line. A wave race we were made to ride. You and I were first in line And we took them by surprise I was with you all the time You may not realize but I Like it, but you have to actually be in quite a stride to keep up with these elephants. They're walking really <laughs> it's fast. It's more of a run than <laughs> a walk. and she's the mama and she was actually saved from Kruger because there were so many elephants that were going to do a cull so she was actually young when they were doing the cull and all the little ones scattered and then what happened was they ended up getting the young ones she was in the third truck so that's why she's called three she had one baby called Hannah who's over there and then she also adopted another baby which was found orphaned called Marty who's over there as well so it's all three girls and um, yeah it's pretty cool because she's 20 years old now I think wow she has such force trying to get those branches off. Uh -huh. And once again, the camera just doesn't show you the scale of how big and incredible these animals are. I just can't believe they do culling at Kruger. I didn't I even know, know that. I know, it's so bad. But they just say that there's like not enough room for them, but I don't know why they have to cull them. But yeah, if you're interested, it's like there's hair on the skin, but it's like very rough. <laughs> it's so rough. It's like... It doesn't even feel like you're touching an animal. If you do the, the project here, you get to do an elephant walk. And it's just incredible. I mean, you get to do a lion walk and an elephant walk, but I love these guys. <laughs> Hannah, this is Three's daughter? Biological. Biological daughter, and she's got the longer tasks, and then I'll go around here, 
And this one's Marty, uh, who's the adopted, the adopted elephant. And you can tell by their shorter tusks because they haven't been fully developed yet. Marty likes scratches when you do it. His ears flap. The ears start flapping. <laughs> that was so incredible, guys. Definitely top things we've ever done. But we have to leave them now and we have to go for breakfast. Alrighty guys, we just cleaned out the elephant cage and then we grabbed some breakfast and now we're heading down to go and do the horse riding. We get to go for an hour out and I'm hoping they give us a horse that isn't too crazy because I've seen some that are very excitable but I've also seen some that are very timid so I'm hoping I get a timid one because I'm not the best horse rider. I've done it just a few times. Yeah, are you excited to go horseback riding? Just dealing with day two of this terrible haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Quarantine. Yes, I'm excited. I love horse riding. Alrighty, let's go find a horse. First, let's say good morning to the girls. They're all sleeping on in the shade. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Sleepy, it's pretty hot today. All right, so we found Stephen's horse. Hey. Hey, yeah. Come on, Steve, hop on. <laughs> she said, nah. <laughs> Yeah. What's your horse's name, Jess? Chip. Chip. We've just found some baby hippos and the mum's just under the water. Oh, it's the dad? There he is. He's gonna scare us now. now. When we, when we just turn, go away. We start making a little noise. My horse is way too happy, I'm off it. <laughs> Chip! Oh! Chip! Look at that beautiful little main going on hey guys totally forgot to vlog the horse ride was uh, almost five hours ago but because it's Saturday uh, generally on Saturdays you get the afternoon off which is uh, really good that was such an incredible horse ride I um, I think it's definitely one of the best ones we, we've done because we saw giraffes we even saw the baby hippos and also, which was really cool, is that we saw an impala. We must have just missed it because we saw a baby impala and we even saw the fresh placenta and the baby impala was still wet. So that impala must have just been born. Because it's Saturday night, they tend to plan a uh, kind of a night excursion. And they're doing our favorite thing. We're heading to the cinemas. There's an outdoor kind of theater, kind of like a drive-in, but with no cars. Um, and we're going to go see a movie, uh, I think we're just going to decide when we get there and yeah, I think we're just going to relax for the rest of the night which is really, uh, really cool way to end our time here because tomorrow in the afternoon about 4.30 is when we're getting picked up and leaving the project.
which is kind of sad. We're gonna have to go run around and say goodbye to all our favourite animals, especially the three lions. I think they're my favourite. They're my favourite too. Anyway, how are you doing? Good, good. Did you enjoy your afternoon off? I did. We got a lot of editing done. Um, I've been helping Stephen edit the vlogs. <laughs> so if you see some vlogs that have been edited, are extra good. That's probably mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, we're now heading into quarantine to meet up with everyone and getting picked up for our movie. We are just one star away. Such hot weather that we had to get ice cream. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh You've come to this outdoor cinema, it's kind of like there's just seating and there's a big screen and they called it French toast so it's all designed like France, you've got the mini Eiffel Tower, you can get French toast and crepes and all this but it seems like they wanted to take it to the next level and they decided to make a movie about not necessarily the theatre but named after it. It looks like it was all filmed in Johannesburg and they've just got scenes from France and all that. So we're not going to be expecting a high quality movie here but I think we're all just going to have fun. We've ordered some food and we're just all going to sit at a table. Probably no one's going to watch the movie but it's just funny that they've decided to just make this movie themed after this outdoor theatre and then they've just got all this branding everywhere. Should be a good night. <laughs> Oh, it's just oh, it's like they? the Love Lock Bridge, Steve. Uh. <laughs> they made it just like Paris. They've got the Love Lock Bridge, they've got the Eiffel Tower, and the movie we're seeing is called French Toast. <laughs> Wait. Take a bite. I'm not taking a bite on that. We can cheers. No, we cheesed last night. No, you got to take a cheese. bite. I'm not taking a bite. It looks really good before. Come on. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> We just realized the film that we're seeing is literally filmed. <laughs> it's literally filmed where we're eating. <laughs> hey guys, we just got back from the cinemas and I was half asleep and I realized we need to end this. <laughs> it's actually a really nice, relaxing way to end our final day here at the Volunteer Project. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Um, Tomorrow we are just pretty much spending the day here because we get picked up at 4.30 and then um, we're just staying a, a night in Pretoria and then once we um, have spent the night there we are heading down towards Cape Town um, to go see some family down there which should be, uh, which should be good but uh, yeah it's our... Uh... But yeah, that was the end of our 300th vlog. I didn't think we would make it this far. It also means it's been 300 days since we left home. So for everyone that has joined us, uh, if you're new or if you've been around here for a while, thanks so much for joining us on our little, uh, little adventure. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. Breeze from the heat wave stole my emotions. I left my doubts with.